You guys could just focus in, that would be great. All right, up on the board. I got 5, 10, 15, 20, da 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 da. Wednesday, this was a special type of sequence. What do we call this special type of sequence? 5, 10, 15, 20, so on, so on. Don't say a word. Relax. Here we go. Number two at home, I believe. Hi, is Isaiah on with us here today? Yeah, yeah. There he is, but I couldn't see you, boss. Sorry. Go ahead. What do you got? What type of, what do we call that, Isaiah, on Wednesday? It hasn't been that long. Uh, I don't remember. I'm trying to find it in my jacket. Okay. You were right up in front of me Wednesday. We had an argument how to pronounce it. Oh, what is Oh, crap. This Wait, guy. I got my tongue. What is it called? Recursive? Oh. Or, or arithmetic, or arithmetic. Arithmetic. Everyone remember? Arithmetic. Okay, this goes out to anybody. Just by looking at it, how'd you know it was arithmetic? Any arithmetic sequence, what are you doing? Adding, adding, adding the same number every time. What's that number I'm adding here? Five. Five. We gave that number a name. What you're adding, what did we call it? I want to use the vocabulary. Come on. It's going to sting a little bit. Here we go. Hi, Sophia. That number we add every time was called our what? Common difference. Perfect. Common difference. Yeah. And we had, a, we had a letter for it, didn't we? How we represent common difference with the letter difference, D, difference, D. D. There we go. Starting to rehash a little memory here. Good. All right, now go to your formula sheet, please. Again, if you guys if you guys are missing the actual paper copy of it, it's right on classroom. First one on there, algebra two reference sheet. If you ever need an electronic copy. What is that formula we're going to use every single time we are dealing with an arithmetic sequence? All you got to do is read it off for me. I want to make sure you guys can find it too. Let's roll. Eight. Colin. Hi, Colin. What's that formula I'm going to need? Um, A n equals A one. Stop. What's A one mean? Uh, the first value. Good first term plus. Yep. And minus one, and then D. What's D again? Good. Everyone else, all right. That's the formula we use every single time on dealing with an arithmetic sequence. All right, let's use the formula then. Can somebody help me find the 22nd term up here without going 25, 30, 35? I don't have time for that. I need it right now. All right, I need it right now. 22nd term up here. Okay, who's helping me out? Woo, here we go. Bassett, you ready? Going home? Bassett, ready? Okay, help me fill in the formula, Bassett. What term am I finding? Okay, so that's my n value. Find the 22nd term. What's the first term in this sequence? Five. Five plus, what was the n value? I just plugged it in on the left side. 22. 22 minus one and guys i'm stressing this big time it's times the d value not minus not plus times that d value what's the d value again bassett five. what we're going by which is five times five thank you bassett and i recommend doing this all in one line in your calculator five plus 22 minus one times five do it all in one line don't do it piece by piece because that's where you get incorrect answers from. 110 is the 22nd term. Everyone good? Last thing I'm going to ask you for. Using this sequence, can you write an equation for the nth term? Meaning an equation that represents any term in the sequence. You plug in 88, you get the 88th term back. You plug in 100, you get the 100th term back. Can you come up with that equation for me? Start with the one on the reference sheet. You're always using that formula if it's an arithmetic sequence. It's the only formula you guys know. Only one you'll need for the quiz. Okay, seven. Here we go, Will, ready? When I ask for the nth term, n stays n. Wherever you see an n, leave an n. 
Leave it in. Ready, Will? A, what am I plugging in for N? Darn right. Couldn't mess with you there. First term. Good. N stays N. What's your D value? And all I'm going to ask is you guys clean it up. What do I mean by clean it up? What can you do with this five over here? Distribute. Distribute. Good. Boom. Boom. Let's finish this up. Five plus five N minus five. Keep cleaning it up for me. What's the equation for the nth term? Five N and that's it. Because they cancel. That's it. And again, you want to find the 80th term? What do you plug in for N? 80. Done. You'll find it now. Okay? Questions, comments, any concerns there? That's where we're at as far as Wednesday goes. Just a quick review. Woo! Other questions? You ready? Last topic before the quiz. Okay. Uh, I'm not too... Somebody's got to help me out here with the page number in your packet. Uh, you have... We need to finish... Yes, we need to finish Wednesday's notes because we didn't get to this yet. And it's pretty darn important. So, what page we got? 11. Yep. Top of page 11, everyone. I'm at the top of page 11. And then we'll get into the new stuff. All right. I'm going to start having you guys find what are called arithmetic means. Without reading it, because the definition gets confusing, here's what I'm talking about. Remember my, uh, don't write anything down yet, please. Remember my sequence I just gave you? I'm going to take the sequence. I'm going to take two numbers out. And I want you to find the, what was there. Okay? Maybe you know the pattern. Maybe you don't. Okay, that's what arithmetic means. Are. I'm taking a sequence, and I'm going to pull a couple numbers out. Can you guys find what they were? All right? So here's what I'm asking for in this problem. Can you guys find three arithmetic means between 2 and 22? So I have a sequence that starts with 2 and ends in 22. There were three numbers in between, though. Could you find them? That's what I'm looking for when I ask for the arithmetic means. So 2, something, 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 I ended at 22. Can you find those numbers in between? No, we're not guessing and checking either. We don't have time for that. But you do know it's arithmetic, which means what am I doing to every single term here to get to the next? Adding something, right? I'm adding something. Wouldn't it be nice to know what that something is? Yeah, and then I'm, I could do it like that. What's that something called? Give me the vocabulary term. That's something. Common difference. There we go, Eliana. Common difference. So... All this problem is, is can you find the D value? Can you find what the D, because if you find that D value, we're golden. Use your formula. Here we go. Let's see if we can use our formula to find it. Right off the reference sheet. All right. You guys know your D is going to stay D. All right. Can you help me fill in the rest? Some of these. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who's helping me out? Katie, not here. Look at that, huh? Escaping again. Ella, you ready? Yeah. Ready to roll? Yeah. Okay, you may not remember some of this stuff from Friday, uh, from Wednesday, so I'll help you out. Well, you know the first term, right? A1. What's my A1 value here? Two. Two. First term. Perfect. Good job. Okay. A subscript N, that represented any term I knew in the sequence, except for the first term. So, Ella, do you know any number in this sequence other than the first term? Wait, can you do that? Yep, sure. A subscript N is any term in my sequence except for the first one. You're not allowed to put the first one there because I already used it. What's another term I know in the sequence? I can't hear what you're saying. I think my Chromebook like glitched out. Hold on, I'm gonna like, can I even come back? Oh, you're gonna pull one of those, huh? Sure, go ahead. Oh, Ella. 
Okay, sorry, Isaiah. She put you on into the fire now. Would it be 22? Yeah, 22. Good job. Right? That's one term I know, 22. Now, these two here, A subscript N and the N are related. That's the term. That's its position in the sequence. So, Isaiah, you put 22 here. What position is 22 up in my sequence? Wouldn't it be where the N is? Well, oh, oh, 22, where is it in the sequence? Is it the second, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth term? What is it? It's the fourth. You, will you count correctly? Fifth. Thank uh, you, five. Everyone see how they're related now? Whatever term you put here, here for n is its position in the sequence. Always related. Everyone see that? You're not off the hook, Al. Everyone good? Can you solve for D now? I hope so. 22 equals 2 plus 4D. Ella, you're solving this one. Redeem yourself. Take your time. Uh, D equals five. There you go. D equals five. That's not my final answer, but that's what I'm going by. So everyone go back to the sequence and tell me what those three missing means are. Okay, go back to your sequence. You know you're going by fives now. Perfect. If I'm going by fives, what are my three missing means? Bassett. Yeah, here we go. What are my three missing means here, Bassett, if I'm going by fives? Seven. Good. Nine. And nine. Oh, my bad. My bad. It is. Uh, Twelve. Good. And, uh, 17. and this is the great thing. Bassett keeps going. What's after 17? Plus five. 22. I must be doing something right if I added it one last time and got that final number. All right. So I got seven, 12, 17. All you guys need is D value. That's it. Okay? Everyone all right there? We'll do more tomorrow when we review, but I think I threw one of those on your quiz at least. Good? Any issues? Ready to get to some new stuff here? All right, you can go to uh, next page of notes there. Woo. I want to introduce you to, uh, you know, there's a Greek alphabet, right? There's a Greek alphabet. This is a uh, part of the Greek alphabet. I want to, uh, introduce to you the Greek, uh, letter Sigma. All right. That's Sigma. looks like an E. Let's be honest here. The only time you guys have seen it is probably on frat houses, right? Okay. Let's be honest. So that's fine. All right. It's called Sigma. Okay. Sigma. You will see a couple values surrounding it. So as I'm talking about this, look at number one, okay? As I'm talking about this. You guys will see a number down at the bottom, okay? That's the number we're going to start. That's called, going to be called our starting value. Try this again. Here we go. Starting value. I think you guys will like these a lot because they're pretty easy once you catch on to it. And then you'll see a number on top, right? You'll always see a number on top. That's my ending value. And I know it doesn't make too much sense now, but wait till we do number one. And there's one more piece. You guys will see this little expression to the right. All right, that's gonna be our nth term. Equ equation for the nth term. had practice coming up with those right in our own okay you ready what this will do is you're going to come up with your own sequence of numbers right now all right what this sigma does is you're going to have a list of numbers here at the end hopefully okay so let's take a look at number one i'll go through this slowly what's my bottom number what's my starting value on the bottom 
3. So what you need to do is, you take 3 and plug it in for k. So everyone take 3, plug it in for k, let me know what number you get out first. 2 times 3 plus 1. Oh boy. I got a couple of you going, you're doing calculator for this. I got a 7, I got a 9. Times 3 plus 1. 7. Everybody good? Don't get me going here. Come on, you're better than that. So 7 is the first number in the sequence I get out. Okay, how do I get more numbers? Well, what's the ending number on top? 8, but you're, re you're not ready to plug that 8 in yet. What this is saying is you need to plug in all numbers starting with 3 all the way to 8. So you just plugged in 3. What are you going to plug in now? 4. All the way up to 8. Okay, everyone at home good there? So go ahead, plug in the number 4. What's your next term in the sequence? I don't think we need calcs for this, do we? 2 times 4 plus 1? 9. Okay, so we just plugged in 3. We just plugged in 4. Now we're going to plug in... Five, yep, keep going. Plug in five. What's the next number in the sequence? Eleven. We plugged in three, four, five. Now we plug in six. Let's keep going. What do we get? Thirteen. Plug in seven. Fifteen. Plug in eight. Should I plug in nine? No. The top number says stop here. Everyone good with the numbers in my sequence? All right, one more step, though. One more step. Sigma means sum. So what do you think I want to do to all these numbers if I want to find the sum? You add them. That is what the sigma says. Find all the numbers in the sequence and add them together, please. And that is the final answer. Okay? That's what sigma is. Find the numbers in the sequence, then add them up for me. And that will be your final answer. So you end up with what here? 72? That is my final answer in this sigma problem. Okay, you found the numbers, now add them up. That's what sigma means. Add them up, add them up. Okay, questions you want to ask on this? Because one doesn't make you great. We good? All right, let's see how you can tackle the next one. Whew. What number do you start with? Zero. Zero. Plug it in for n. And if you're, guys, go, if you have to use your calculator, do so. Ready? Two, parenthesis, three, parenthesis, raised to the zero. Type it all in. Two. There's your first term in the sequence, two. Do you go right to four now? No. no. You plugged in zero. What should you be plugging in next? One. One. Everything from zero to four. Just, just yell them out here so we know we're good here. What do you get when you plug in one? Six. Now plug in two. What number? 18. Next number? So let's see. 0, 1, 2. So you should be plugging in 3 now. 54. And now plug in 4. 100 and... Okay, before I go on, is everyone okay where those numbers are coming from? You're plugging in the numbers 0 through 4. Caroline, go. So two and then zero. That's what I got when I plugged in zero for n. Okay. Good? Okay. I, here you go, Caroline. Ready? I plugged in zero. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay? okay? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Anybody else at home, you okay? And remember, sigma means add these up, please. Add them up. Because that'll be my final answer. All right, what are you getting when you add them up? Let's go through this quick here. Three. What do you, I got Anna. 242. Good job, 242. 
questions? We're going to do one more. What's so different about number three than uh, one and two that we need to maybe talk about probably? I'm starting. Please give a number for four. Yeah, I got a two plus out to the left. What the heck? Not a big deal. All that's going to tell us is what? Just add two to everything. Just add, not, and not every term, just add two to the entire sum. And the sigma? Correct. Okay, just add two to it. That's it. Don't add two to every term. Just add two to your answer. All right, so here you go. What's the first number you're plugging in? One. Go ahead, plug in one. Do it with me here. 13 top minus three. 10. Plus. Plug in two. Two. Seven. Plug in three. Four. What do we plug in? One, two, three. So all I got to plug in four? One. One, yep. So everybody good. And just add two at the end there. That's what that's telling us. Let's see, can we do this? 12 and 11. So you end up with? 24. How you guys doing that, huh? We all right? Pick up how to do those because I got good news for everybody. Everyone okay doing it by hand? You got a sigma button on your calculator. We don't need to do these by hand anymore. Oh, why didn't you tell us that before? Sorry, you got to know how to do it by hand. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do number four on the calculator. Uh, if you guys have an older version of a calculator, this may not be on there, but you can always use your Chromebook. All right, your Chromebook's got the TI on there as well. Okay, so here we go. Everybody go to Alpha Window. Alpha Window. And look who is there. Look at number two, everybody. Everyone see? Alpha Window, there it is. Number two, and look, you can't go wrong. It's telling you every spot to plug in for. Okay? Now, do you need to use, in this case, it's got the variable K. No, you don't have to use K, but just make sure you use the same variable all throughout. Okay, so if you want to use K, go ahead. So K equals three, all the way to, what's our top number there? Five. And then in parentheses, k squared plus k. Boom, we're done. They all added up to 62. Anybody not getting 62? What, Caroline? Um, so on the quiz, I need to have to show our work today. I know you got that on your calculator. I wouldn't expect you to show your work. But now I have the bad news. That was awesome, wasn't it? I can do it. Oh, yay, I can do it all on the calculator. No, you can't. Sometimes you can't. Number five. I wish that was true. Let me ask you guys before I tell you why you can't. Anybody think they have an idea why you cannot use your calculator for this one? Thank you, Caroline. One more time for everybody. The two variables. Two variables. Your calculator can't handle two variables. You can only do a sigma in your calculator if it's got one variable. Yeah. Hey, though, good thing we know how to do these by hand, don't we? All right? We don't need to rely on the calc. We can do these by hand now. That's why I showed you that in the beginning. All right, let's talk. All right, so I have this 4 plus on the outside, so that's just going to come down to my answer. 4 plus starting value. What's the bottom number? Two, two but pay attention. I'm only plugging two in for what variable? K. K equals two. So where you see that X, take a look. Three times two, it's going to stay X. I'm not plugging anything in for it this entire problem. The only thing I'm plugging a number in for, K, and that's it. Good, good job here. Okay, plus three times what's going in for K now. I just plugged in two. 3 minus x 
plus three times. What's going in for K now? Four, four minus X. And I apologize here for running out of room, but plus three times five minus X. And then what are you going to do with all those threes on the outside of those parentheses? Let's go. Distribute. Combine your like terms. We got to clean this. We got a lot of cleaning up to do, guys. So 4 plus 6 minus 3x plus 9 minus 3x plus 12 minus. Woo! Guys got some cleaning up to do. Plus 15 minus 3x. Okay, combine all your like terms and hopefully you see one of them uh, on the left side as a multiple choice. I'll ask you guys, one of you guys in a second. Dan, when you're ready at home, Dan, whenever you're ready. After you combine all your like terms. Um, after you combine them, you, uh, you get. You get, uh, you get 40, 46. Yep. And what about with all the negative three X's? Oh, then um, you get you get uh oh, it's negative twelve. There you go. No. Where where did we lose you, Caroline? I got negative four. Okay, ready. Negative one minus one. Negative one. No, no, no that's three x. You got oh oh hey oh, oh my God. hey hey, come on, where are you here? Right, distribute the three. Oh my God. You good? Okay, happens to the best of us. Everyone else, all right. Because we're going in uh, a reverse direction now. We're putting this in reverse now. If I gave you the numbers, could you write your own sigma now? Yeah. That's what we're doing now. We're going in reverse, guys. We're going, I'll give you 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. Can you come up with your own sigma now? That's where we're going. Any questions about writing it out first, going this way? Any issues? Pretty easy. You can use your calculator if there's one variable. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna skip over just for time's sake, six and seven. And we're gonna go to where it starts out with number eight. Okay. New vocabulary term I need you to get used to. New vocabulary. Quick, just up here real quick. I know this is not in your notes up here. It makes it a lot easier. Remember sequence. It's just a list of numbers in a pattern, right? I'm going to introduce the word series now. All the series is, guys. All the series is, take your sequence and add it up. That's what we've been doing today. So when I say a series, that's telling you guys you're taking your sequence and adding it up. Okay, that's all it is, a series. Take your sequence and add it up. All good, because I want to start using that vocabulary terms with you. Okay, this one here. Can you guys find the sum of this series right here? 12 plus 19 plus 26 plus all those numbers in between plus 180. And I don't have time for you guys to find the pattern and add them all up on your calculator. We need a different way to do it. And the way we're going to do it is we are going to create our own sigma so we can plug it in the calculator and it'll give it to us right away. Okay, we're going to create our own sigma now. And I know this seems, oh, kidding me, this is ridiculous. No, it's not. All right, hopefully you guys are okay. I'm always going to use the variable n in my sigma. Okay, I'm always going to use the variable n. And 
the number you're always going to start out with, no matter what the series says up here, what numbers are in here, you're always going to start off with one. Your starting value will always be one. So at the bottom of every sigma, I always want you to start with one. No questions asked. Okay, now here's where we got to do some work. We need to find what goes to the right. What do I, you know, what am I plugging in every time? Remember, that was the nth term, the formula for the nth term. We've done this before. We've done this. I just need some help from you guys. 11, 11, 11. Hi, Liz. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Good. Survived the storm, all right? Yeah. Good. Lose power? When did it come back on? Um, yeah, me too. Stung, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Did you get angry? No. No? You were calm about it? Yeah. Well, good for you. I can't say the same. All right, Liz, back to my question here. Uh, 12, 19, 26, what are you going by? Sevens, right? So this is arithmetic. You got a formula for uh, an equation for any arithmetic sequence we've been using? Yeah. What it, what is, off your formula sheet, what is it? A1 equals A1 plus A minus 1. Yep. Okay. Here's where we're going to find what to plug in here. Guys, we've been doing, I'm, I'm trying to make this easy for you guys. We've been doing this. Find the nth term. N stays what? The same. N. Ready? A sub n. What's the first term up here? First term? 12. 12, yeah. What about this n? Uh, no. Uh, Stays? N? Liz, going back to you, what are we going by? 7. seven. So times, not plus, times 7. Do work on that for me, please. Do work. Distribute the seven, combine your like terms. This, what you end up getting is what we're plugging into the right of the sigma. This is gonna be my nth term, back, nth term expression. Clean it up and let me know what you get. Hunter, when you're ready. Five plus seven. Five, so seven, can I write seven n plus five? Yep. Okay. Everyone see, get in, distribute the seven and combine your like terms. Caroline, you all right? You look, yeah, sure? I, yeah. Everyone at home, seven n plus five, there you go. That's what's going here to the left. Or to the, yeah, I know my own directions, to the right. What's the only value I need to finish this sigma off? Or how far are we going? You know, how far, how many numbers do I need to plug in until I get to 180? It's not 180. It's basically what do I need to plug in for n to get 180? Ready? Go back to your equation. You want to know when this is equal to what? When this is equal to? 180. What's that value of n that I can plug? Is it 6? Is it 7? Is it 22? I don't know. Let's find the value of n that I can plug in so I get 180 out. And what's the value of n? Isaiah, what value of n did you end up with here, boss? I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to punch in the calculator. Well, no, no, no. We're not there. Look, we're salt. We're, we're, we we want to know when 7n plus 5 equals 180. Yeah. So I move the 5 over and divide by 7. Move the 5 over. By subtracting, right? All I'm, do, all I'm doing here, Isaiah, is solving this equation for n. Yeah. Oh, okay. So subtract the 5 and divide by 7. What's your n value? 25. Yep. So everybody, you're plugging in the numbers 1, do 25. Now where can I find the answer? I hope you're not doing this by hand. All right, you created the sigma, now find the sum. Because that'll be the answer to number 8. Alpha, 
window, alpha window. So if we added up all those terms, whenever you're ready. Oh, Isaiah, here we go, boss. You ready for this? Yeah, let me punch it in real quick. Yeah, why don't you punch it in real quick? Alpha window, right? Yep. Probably going to be a large number. Yeah, <clears throat> 2,400. That's what all those add up to. Okay. And on the, if you guys decide to do the graded assignment, the optional one, that's all you're going to do is create these signals. Okay. That's all you're going to do and figure them out. Okay. So I'm giving you guys two days. If you have questions on it, let me know. All right. Fantastic four. I'll see you in class tomorrow, guys. Again, we're reviewing tomorrow. And then you guys will take it on Thursday. You guys in class. Okay. Thanks, guys. At home, behave. Let me know if you got questions. Hop on the two. <laughs>